What's up, bag lovers? Let's talk paddles. Not the kind you use on the lake back here, the kind you use on your steering wheel in your car. We were sent some by uh, enthusiast brands, cut us a deal on them, and I gotta say, I was pretty impressed. All cast aluminum, painted black, super high quality finish. Let's take a look at the install. First thing we wanna do, disconnect the battery. Remove the negative terminal and keep it separate from anywhere that it can touch and cause any kind of connection while you're working on your paddles, especially around the airbag. You don't want a nasty surprise. Next, we're gonna turn our wheel 90 degrees so that we can get the hole back here. As you can see, it's this one right here. We're gonna have one of these on both sides. Get a short screwdriver. I've got this old janky one that does a trick. Insert it in here. There's a spring and you're gonna push down on it and lever up. When you get it to release, the front is gonna pop loose. This is how I must look when I'm driving. All right, there's the other side. All right, once you get the airbag popped loose, you're gonna see this yellow clip in the back and there is a green part right on top there. That needs to be pulled out towards you. And pulled out like that. And then you're gonna pinch the green part and the yellow part and pull the clip out. As you can see, pulling up on here releases the little uh, clicking mechanism. All right, so removing this clip is fairly straightforward. Get a small screwdriver or pick or something. You're gonna get it right under there, uh, right under that little plastic bit. Be gentle, but lift it up and it'll pop right out. Let me see if I can show you. All right, so as you can see, I've got the airbag out and I'm working on getting this bezel off and it's not easy. You've got this molded plastic with these clips in here that just fit in and suck it in. I hit them with a heat gun just a little bit and I'm using this tool here that's uh, made for taking the trim off of, um, you know, out of the inside of your car and stuff. And I'm, I'm just kind of getting it in where I can and, and helping it, uh, helping it just get more leverage and, and let me spread out where I'm pulling from uh, and I'm just I'm going very slowly apparently there's some wires under here on either side and there's also sort of a um, like a ball joint grommet thing um, and so these are stuck in place very firmly and the trick is to just be patient and go slow and that's uh I started with the top. The top actually came out fairly easy. Um, and I've sort of worked my way around uh, using different leverage points. All I can say is be patient uh, and, you know, do your best not to break anything here. Um, I'll update you when I get the next step done, which is getting this removed. All right, so I've had some success after pulling really gently. Uh, getting this tool kind of in, I was able to get it to start to pull through and come loose. And I did that both on this clip and this clip. And I moved to the bottom where using this end uh, to get in and pull very gently pry, pry this bezel up here helped me get this middle one out. Now it seems everything's loose and I've just got the two um, ball joint style clips underneath each one of the control panels that I'll very, very gently move up. All right, so I finally got this bezel off and honestly, it was a pain and just had to be really patient. Uh, I used this kind of end very carefully to pry this off around um, and pulling on this point. If you see on the bezel, you have this clip right here and another one uh, right there on the back side and they go into the corresponding holes over here and you have got to pull those mushroom things out in a manner so as not to yank these wires loose when you're doing so. Um, so helping see where those locations are when you're pulling 
uh, and where they seat helps. There's one right there. Uh, there's one right there. Um, and that's, uh, that's how I was able to get that off after much, much time spent um, trying to get them out without breaking anything. I've been successful. And next, we just remove the bolt here and the bolt here. And that should allow the modules to uh, come out. They're attached to these tiny wires here. All right, so bolts out. We get this little wire here out from behind this wire keeper. All right, bolts removed. You get the wire out from the wire keeper. And you should just be able to pull the paddle shifter right out the back. Next, paddle shifter's out. We're gonna remove this pin right here. Uh, I've just got a tiny little screwdriver um, bit that I use to locate the pin and then gently push on it and it'll slide out really easily. Don't lose them. We're gonna take this module and pop it into the new paddle. All right, modules are now in both the new paddle shifters. We'll go get them back on the steering wheel, put everything back together and see how this works. All right, so when putting these back in, this little hook right here, you wanna aim to get that in first. So you're gonna pull on this back side to get it out and you're gonna go in reverse of that. So you get that hook in around and you push the back in and it clicks in place nicely. Then we'll reroute the wire here back under this keeper and do the same to the other side so as you can see you've got this hook piece here we're going to come in from the back side feel the hook push in and then click into place and then you push the back on and you've got really solid metal paddle shifters but honestly they're pretty good very important, don't be like me and forget to put these back in. Um, make sure these screws go back in before you put everything back together. Uh, I was feeling how cool the paddle shifters were and it dawned on me there's a little extra play in there because I forgot. So I had to go through the whole process again. Luckily this time, uh, just through the course of working with it, I figured out how to do everything and where everything was and it didn't take me quite so long. All right, when you're done, you connect all the wires. Uh, you're just gonna push everything back together. Uh, make sure all your wires are routed the way they were supposed to be. For, for instance, this little guy goes right in that notch. There's a little channel for this. Just make sure it's all routed back the same and you don't have any issues there. Then you can push the bezel back in place. Okay, once you get the main ring back in, push all the way around it, just get it seated. You'll need to push this part back down all the way in and then on the side as well until you hear them pop. 